Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741953160976097. JC's Comics More at Hotmail.com. Uh, you know, we've got this uh, second video for this collection. Uh, we've got a lot of the issues alphabetized and everything, some of the stuff. And getting ready to grade some comics. I've got a guy that called uh, earlier asking about the Wolverines, uh, this Wolverine miniseries. So we're getting ready to price these up. So when he calls me tomorrow, if he's interested, then uh, we can get these shipped off to him. But the Wolverines and also the Ms. Marvel, complete set of Ms. Marvels too, which includes a 35 cent variant on number six. So, checking these out, we're going to price these out and see how they they look. And some are in certainly much better condition than others. Uh, there's a couple that are not in the, number 13 is uh, not in the best of shape. Certainly this number 2 is, is better than the issue 1. But the issue 3 there. Got a few spine ticks there. Nice sharp corners. Nice white cover on the back. Issue four. Five, it's really great Jim Mooney artwork and Joe uh, Joe Sinnott and Sal Basama, Keith Pollard, Dave Cockrum, Mike Vosberg, and Dave uh, or uh, Mike Zek artwork also. There's the 35 cent issue. Unfortunately, it does have some ticks on it, but still, it's a 35 cent. Uh, issue here. You can buy yourself a fishing pole set for twelve ninety five. There's the seven, the mold dot cover. Jill Sinnott inks. I want to say it's a John Basema cover. I guess that's uh, John Basama. I'll say Joe Sinnott ink that also. First Death Bird. This has art by Keith Pollard, Joe Sinnott, and Sam Granger. Chris Claremont wrote most of these, Gary Conway wrote the uh, first couple as he created or didn't create Carol Danvers but created the the Ms. Marvel persona. Got Orca, there's number 10, Salva Sama and uh, Tom Palmer inks. He also did the artwork on the inside. Really love that combination. And that's the issue. I think they changed her costume. They made her a little bit less sexy. Actually, I think it was the issue before that made her a little bit less sexy with the bear of the midriff. She was just too sexy. Somebody might think this is some sort of a variant or something. That's just how that 35 cents was, was put on that one there. This has the elementals. I guess that appeared in the Spider-Man movie. Uh, so we have to take their word at that. That's a clean copy also. Most of these are in, I'd say, very, very fine minus, uh, very fine plus, and then there's others that are not. So Jim Starlin cover. It's number 13. This is the worst out of the batch. 
to sell this or it's a rare uh, Gil Kane cover a spine roll there the number 14 starts a run of Dave Cockrum covers there's some indentations on the cover right there Terry Austin inks this has uh, Carmen Infantino uh, pencil Steve Leolola inks uh, I don't care for Carmen's work too much as, but uh, Steve's uh, inks really uh, made it much better yes John Basama cover there with uh, Joe Simmons inks take it on Tiger Shark Jim Mooney and Tony D. Zagunga I probably butchered Tony's name a little bit we've got 16 cameo parents of Raven uh, became his mystique this is the first appearance of Raven in there again Dave, Co uh, Dave Cockrum covers what a spectacular cover nice nice shine on that cover and then the first appearance of Mystique in this issue here and this is probably the best issue out of the entire batch might be a very happy man buying these Somebody from out of state. Number 19, meeting up with Captain Marvell. And that's uh, Carmen Infantino and Bob McLeod inks. But uh, her first meeting with Marvell as Ms. Marvel. Of course, Carol had a fling with Marvell. Here, Dave Cockrum took over the art chores, redid her costume with Bob McLeod inks. Outstanding. I thought this book would have sort of taken off at this point, but it went to a bi monthly status. Looks like there's some sort of staining there. Got the one, number 21, again, Dave Cockrum uh, and Joe Rubenstein cover. Cockrum cover with Austin. And there's another Cockrum cover, but Mike Volstag uh, took over. Or, or I mean, Volberg, Vosberg took over at that time, at that point, with uh, Mike Zek. And the final issue of the series right there. It's the uh, next issue, is supposed to be Sabretooth, that appeared years later in uh, initial Marvel superheroes. We're going to pause this and then work our way over to the rest of the comics or some of the other comics. There's some Annihilations, not many Annihilations, only one issue of Annihilation. Got a Heralds of Galactus, a couple of Ronin, got a couple of Surfers, and Super, there's a Super Scroll there. We've got some um, Jay Scott Campbell, Amazing Spider Man covers. There's a number 500. We've got some of the Civil War issues there as well. Some Avengers issues there. At 298, 299, we've got a 300. One of the best things with this stack here, we've got an annual 10. We do have a 196 also, it's not in this group here. Got an annual 10 there. This was bought at my original store many, many years ago, 30 plus years ago for $2.25. Got some Agent X. When Deadpool was Agent X, I guess that's the, the story that they're going with. But we've got a two, we've got a four, we've got a five, seven, we've got an eight, we've got a nine, a ten, eleven, a twelve. A 13 and a 14 and a 15. Got some Black Panther issues, which is part of Marvel Knights. Got a whole stack of Conans. Got some Cable Deadpools. Got a 26, a 27, 28. Got 29. Got 30. 
32, Strange there's no 31, 33, 34, a couple of 35s, got 36, 37, 39, 40, and 43, a Scotty Young cover on the 43. Uh, you saw Taskmaster, there is a Taskmaster of uh, the miniseries. All four issues of the miniseries. We've got some Bloodstones, Master of Kung Fu's. There's Taskmaster. We've got one, two, three, and four there. Weapon X. There's a bunch of various comics double shot. Nothing too out of the ordinary with this stack here stack. Marvel Action Universe, there's Marvel Mangaverse, Mary Jane number one, Moment of Silence, a 911 issue, or 911 issue, some new X-Men. Uh, Nightmare World, uh, written by somebody, Omega Flight, got the Order, a Pulse, Silent War, got some of the Marvel Knight Spider-Mans written by Mark Millar. Where is this guy at these days? He's disappeared off the face of the earth. Spider-Woman Origin. Written by Bendis. Stephen King, Dark Towers, number one. Strange, number six. Written by Straczynski. Thanos, The Infinity Abyss, number one. Tom Strong's Terrific Tales, number one. Trouble. Issue one of Trouble, that is Trouble right there. Witches, which is number one. Mike Diodato cover, World War Hulk one, the pro prologue to World War Hulk. I'm gonna pause this quickly. Okay, go through these Black Panthers. Got three, got four, there's an eight. The Frank Cho, beautiful storm cover. Got 10, got 12, got 14, got 15, got 16. Joe Lisner, there's a number 17. Got 20, got Black Panther in front of Medusa there as her hair is whipping around him. Got 22, 23, 24. Uh, 25, 26, and then from the uh, uh, miniseries, you got issue four, Civil War one, two, get the three, first and second print, or that's the second print, that's the first print. Uh, the four, there's a five, six, and seven. Casualties of War, Choosing Sides, Files, Frontline two, three, six. Seven, a couple of number eights. Got a nine, a ten, the return, war crimes one, uh, young Avengers runaways issue four. Got the Ed Brubaker, the Darren Cook, uh, Mike Aldred, Cat One One. We've got Cat One number fifty one with the great Adam Hughes cover. That thing. He bought it. It was never even taken out of the bag. Deadpool 67. There's Black Widow number one with the shop steward's favorite widow. He likes he likes the blondes. Uh, there's number two. This is from a short-lived series. Greg Land cover. Issue three, four. You got six. There's the things I say about her. Number three. Got Daughters of the Dragon. Number six. Uh, two copies of six heroes for hire issue four at the billy tushi cover and there's issue one there's a two three got the black cat there there's another number four so i've got two number fours there's a five joe another billy tushi cover uh there's a six another billy tushi cover another billy tushi cover billy did quite a few of these there's an eight if you know Billy, take take this video on Billy's uh, on his Facebook page. Tell him JC said hi. There's nine. 
There's Ms. Marvel from her second run uh, with uh, the Frank Cho covers, issue two. We've got a three. That's a nice three right there. We've got a four. We've got a five. These are all Cho covers. And then uh, goes the Secret Wars. You've got seven and eight. Uh, you got nine. I want to say it's a Ringo cover. Yep, Ringo. You've got 10, 11, 12. Greg Horn start doing the covers. You got 13, 14, 15. You got 16 and 17 and the one shot. Uh, then we got some sensational She Hulks. We got a 12 and 13. 12, 13, 14. And then from the Just Plain She Hulk series, we've got issue three and four. And then it started back over a few years later. Same writer, Dan Slott. That's too bad. And really bad artwork on the inside. This artwork was just horrifically bad. Let's see Spider Man. Let me show you the, uh, the Scorpion. The Scorpion makes an appearance in there. Look at Spider Man. That's just mad. Really, really bad. Look at this. Look at the Scorpion. That's horrible. Horrible. Man, horrible. Uh, but to get issue three, which is what issue 100 would be, this was a takeoff. Unfortunately, Greg does not give any credit to uh, Jim Starlin for his Iron Man number 100 cover. Uh, there's a number six. This guy actually looked like an old customer from like 15 years ago. Uh, there's a seven. There's eight. There's a variant cover on eight. We've got number nine, again, these great Greg Horn covers, Greg Horn covers. We've got 10, 11, we've got 12, Matthew uh, uh, Mayhew, I think that's his name. I uh, probably butchered it, sorry about that, dude. Uh, we've got 13, you've got the awesome Andy at 14, 15, you've got 16, Planet Without a Hulk, issue 17. Uh, and 18, and then you got some Silver Surfers with Ron Lim. We've got a 16, 17, We've got an 18, Galactus versus the In Betweener. We've got 19, We've got a 20, a 21, and then we've got a 34. And a 35 with the Thanos return. Silver Surfer uh, short-lived series issue 12 and 13, 14. Got the stack of some comics here. Got Emma Frost number 11, 12, 18, The Eternal. Got The Eternals by Neil Gaiman and John Romita. It's a six-issue series. There's one, two. There's two copies of three. We've got two copies of four, we've got a five, and six, and that becomes a seven-issue series, but unfortunately no seven. Some uh, Fallen Sun, Death of Captain America, this Avengers, two different covers, we've got a Wolverine cover there, we've got a bunch of flares, we'll just flip through these quickly, some good girl artwork on the front. It's a Frank Bruner cover. Gordon Purcell did uh, did the artwork, amazing artwork. Kevin, I I just don't know why he didn't get work um, mainstream work. His stuff is is fantastic. Some Ghosts in the Shells. This is an eight issue series. This is issue one, two, three, four, five, six. Some GI Joes. Let's see. What else? We got the Kingpin series. That was six issues. There's one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. It was written by, what was it, um, Bruce Jones, Mystique, 14, 18, 22, 24. And there's some Supreme Powers in here, some Squadron Supremes as well. Got all six issues of the Kevin Smith, Terry Dodson, Spider-Man, The Black Cat, The Evil That Men Do. Uh, got one, two, and three. Let's see when issue three. Hang on a second here. 
three came out in late 2002, four came out in February 2006. Almost four years in between issues. Kevin just didn't find time to do it. But there's four, there's five, there's six. Got some of the Spider-Man blues. Unfortunately, not issue one, but we have two, three, two threes. Got a four, a five. Got some Tomb Raiders. There's some Adam Hughes covers on some of these Tomb Raiders. We got this one here. It's not Adam Hughes, but there you go. And there's so the. Uh, it was, they th I tell, I think that you think of Tomb Raider, 22, 23, 24, badly damaged, got 25, 26, got 28, 29, got 30. There's an Adam Hughes cover on 32. There's another 32. There's a 34. Adam Hughes cover on 42, on 43. Another Adam Hughes cover. Adam Hughes. Uh, on issue 48 with the Magdalena. This is a Graham Crackers exclusive. Issues uh, number 11 was limited to 2,500 copies. This is number 141. We've got Tomb Raider Journeys, issue one. There's the Adam Hughes cover that everybody likes. It's like the Catwoman. Uh, that's uh, 1B. Actually, I think it should be 1Ds. Um, we've got that. There's another Adam Hughes cover there. On issue four, Adam Hughes. Uh, Adam did not do five, did not do nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's Dynamic Forces, number uh, uh, 1000, uh, 1733, limit to 5,000 copies, and 3430. We've got a Venom number one. Let's cut some Ghost Riders by uh, Pete Way. One, three, six, seven, there's eight, nine. We've got some Garth Ennis. So the mini series. We've got so uh, six issues, we've got one and four, and then Trail of Tears. We've got issues one and two. And then there's Ghost Riders. It's part of the Marvel manga verse. We've got some uh witch blades here. No Adam Hughes covers on these witch blades, though. There's the cover to 54, to 60, to 63, 64, 67. There's 89s, 94. There's issue number 99. You got issue 100 right there. There's a 103, Demon, Witchblade and Electra, and Witchblade Lady Death. Speaking of the, the Devil's crossovers, we've got Darkness in Wolverine. There's Ballistic in Wolverine. This is signed uh, 62 of 100. Um, Joe Benates. We've got the Umbrella Academy. We do have a free comic book day edition of that. Has not been stamped. We've got Darkness and the Incredible Hulk. The giant size Spider-Man and the Punisher. I want to say it's the third appearance of the Punisher. Um, I'd like to uh, give a quick shout out to Brian for helping me out last night get the books here. Uh, he made it a lot easier for me. And the Pope, who helped me uh, put a lot of these comics into these stacks, I was able to alphabetize a lot easier. And then Mr. Joe, who came here and purchased some of the uh, some of this stuff today. And I'll finish these uh, videos up with some of the Jim Ballant books that we got in. Uh, Little Kittens 1, 2, and 3. And if you're friends with Jim on uh, on Facebook or whatever, be sure to tag this video on his feed. Uh, some early issues of Tara Witch of the Black Rose. I haven't seen them forever. We've got a 13. Some of them, I got both covers. There's 14. Both covers of 14. We've got 16. 17, 17s, I guess I should say, 18s, we got 19s, we got 20, 21, we got 26, a couple of copies of that 26 there, 
One had uh, had a print in the back. Uh, I've got a 27 there that also comes with a print in the back. She wants your hands off her goblins. Um, got 33s, 35s. 36, 37s, a 40, 41s, 42s, 43s. And if you do like these videos, as always, be sure to uh, like the uh, like the channel, helps the channel. Be sure to like the video, be sure to share the video, hit the bell for notifications. Got some 43s, there's some 44s. Uh, some 44s for you, Matt. Got a couple of 44s for you. And 45. And that's it. And again, thanks for watching.